Greetings and uh, welcome to the, uh, another video on the uh, galleons and the ships and all the Sea of Thieves boats. I've been doing the tutorials on how to build them and uh, I'm now going to go over the interior for the galleon. thing you may notice if you did watch the video is how I may have already started on the the upper deck uh, because here <laughs> I have this capstan. <laughs> Honestly, I can't come up with anything better than this. Uh, I've tried putting a wall there, maybe, but it just looked kind of too. Uh, I don't know. I, I couldn't really get this to look like a capstan. So if you could come up with a better capstan, then uh, use that. But this is the best I've got. Anyway, the wheel. I've upgraded it. Uh, think mangrove looks better although if you still preferred the jungle wood from last time then use that but I think mangrove looks more like a wheel so if you want to use a mangrove use the mangrove but what I've done here it's all I've done is I've got a piston and I've basically broken that piston there and I've basically just pushed it into the back of the um, I'm gonna stand here and uh, basically put the two trapdoors down here next to it and that just makes it so that you can actually see over the wheel and you're not looking into the wheel like that <laughs> so yeah it's basically what that is uh, so all that is really it's just a way of getting up it plus I'm pretty sure it's slightly elevated in Sea of Thieves I might be wrong but it doesn't entirely matter all the cannons and uh, all the other things here are well already here. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to go over this uh, because this was in the tutorial video, but I didn't go in detail about what it was, I don't think. So here is the captain's quarters. And uh, also with the new Sea Thieves update, uh, I'm pretty sure you can actually name your boat now. So uh, this is just... I'm just going to call it Galleon. But, uh, yeah, you can actually change the name of your boat here on a sign. <laughs> so that's, uh, there you go. This is now an updated Galleon. So here what I've done is, it is a, this is a stair going, facing towards the inside. So it's like, uh, if I can get an outside view, it's basically like that. Uh, so that's this one with a candle on top and then uh, this one is basically the same thing next to it and then has green carpet on top and then this in the middle is a slab so that's a green carpet slab this here this is just another one of them uh, upside down stair facing that way and uh, the other one behind this here is the same thing with carpets on top and then a birch seat you can change this if you don't want a birch seat, but I don't know why I did that, actually. I think it could be any seat, really. Uh, I don't think it entirely matters, but yeah. That's that. Uh, but yeah, um, this is just a stair, an oak stair block with a oak slab on top. Oak slab, and then a skull above that. Just above the oak slab there on the wall. And then next to the skull here, to the right of it, I'm going to place a red wall block, a uh, sandstone wall below that, and then red wall block again. And then here, uh, this is two carpets, basically surround the table with carpets. Uh, not one on the inside though. Um, you can't get it under unless you wanted to swap out the floor blocks, but it does mess up the downstairs, so couldn't really get around this. Uh, unless you just didn't want the carpet. Maybe looks a bit better without the carpet, but uh, I'm just going off uh, what the boat in game looks like. I'm trying to get it as accurate as possible, hopefully. Uh, this here, this is just another red wall block. Uh, same side, no, not same side, uh, opposite side as that. Uh, symmetrical, really. And then uh, there's a lightning rod under this, uh, but to place it like that, you're going to place it on the on this uh, stair block, which is, uh, it's again, basically if you click it uh, against the wall like that, 
it will be facing this way. Then next to that, you're going to do the same thing on this side, uh, but have a red carpet on top. Uh, or anything on top. I don't really mind what you put here. To us, I don't mind what you do any here. I mean, you could customize the entire boat. You could have used different wood. Anything, really. Because uh, in-game, I mean, it's, it's different wood types and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so door should be there if you built the galleon before. Uh, the chest here, that goes in the corner there, one block away from the door. So there's the door, one chest, and then above that chest is a lantern. Uh, and then also the window, but I'm guessing you probably put the window there through the tutorial uh, before, so... Um, and then also, uh, on behind the door, there's a beehive. Uh, preferably don't put any bees in it, but uh, you can just place a beehive there. Uh, if some bees wander in, then uh, I, I don't know what you're going to have to do about that. You'll probably just... I, I don't know. I mean, if you're building it on the, on the ocean, they shouldn't have to worry about bees claiming the hive. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the bed here... It's just next to that. And then wall block, uh, pillar quartz block, uh, place it like that. No, not like that. That. Or anyway, as long as it's facing vertical. Uh, white wall, white wall, and then one against the wall like that. And that's just because I think there's some sort of curtain thing on, on the actual bed of the boat. But yeah, uh, that is the captain's quarters. So that is the entire top deck, I think. So now we go down into the second floor, I think. Yeah. Whatever you call it. Uh, and this is uh, what I've done. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. Uh, yeah, so I'll start uh, over here on this corner. Actually, no, I'll start on the other side and then work my way to the stairs and then go down. So, uh, these here weren't there before. So, uh, from here, uh, you, you probably know where this corner is if I remove these barrels uh, in the galleon. It's essentially the first corner thing. So, there's two barrels here. Uh, don't really matter how you stack them. Uh, I'm doing that because I can't get the one on top. <laughs> but, yeah. And there's two spruce blocks here, spruce planks, one on the, uh, yes, there's two spruce planks here, next to these barrels, and then a lamp, uh, and then on the other side, it's basically exactly the same, two spruce uh, planks, and then, and then not a barrel, but uh, two acre trap doors, which make up the pet chest, which uh, I've actually put a banana in here, and I haven't named him banana, but and this is banana, so uh, banana is here, and his head is in the ceiling. That's uh, it's a problem, but that's not my problem, so that's fine. There you go. So there's a pet chest, uh, three barrels here as well, uh, next to the pet chest. Um, then yeah, here, uh, which also this probably isn't here either. Uh, basically, just exactly what the top one looks like, but below. So that's what strip jungle plank. Dark oak plank, and then surround it with dark oak trapdoors. Uh, then uh, lamp here as well. I don't know whether I mentioned this. Uh, and then on here, this is actually the gun locker. I probably have an image of the parts I'm doing at the time. Probably uh, not all of them, but some parts I probably have an image for. Uh, and I wanted to make this a little bit more usable, uh, like an actual Minecraft thing. So basically, you open it up, and you've got your weapons in it. Yes, yeah, so you've got your bows there as well. Uh, and then next to it, obviously, this will be the ammo refill chest, which I haven't put anything in there, but this is where you'd probably store your arrows and stuff. Uh, maybe so you're not taking up bow storage. I don't know what you're going to do with that, but this is just a gun. And, well, actually, not no guns, because no guns in Minecraft, but bows. Uh, but yeah, uh, then there's also this, which if I've got the image... It's pretty hard to put that in Minecraft, so uh, I've basically just gone with cobwebs and stained glass and double chests, normal chests, all the old, like basically just chests and junk everywhere, so it's kind of what this area is. But uh, places to store still, barrels and stuff. I mean, to be honest, uh, 
the floor below has a lot of storage, so if you're planning on living in this thing, uh, you can probably put item frames or something on the barrels to know what's in them. I don't know what you're going to do with it, but um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, red carpet as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you're just looking at this, you'll know where everything goes and everything does. And I'll get another view on the other side as well, just in case you wanted that. But yeah, um, then here, under the stairs, uh, and then I'll work over to there. Uh, under the stairs, uh, this is probably thick from the first time I did it. Like it, it probably uh, has like planks here and there and everywhere. If you just delete a few planks and uh, add an up down upside down stair under the stair there, and then the two plank uh, two blocks under the middle stairs are actually planks still. Uh, and then you want three spruce fences from the planks, and then over here. Uh, basically just under what would be the other side here uh, basically you just want the three barrels there uh, you might want to add a bit of variety in them as well uh, you don't want them all looking the same otherwise it'll be a flat wall really but just some sort of variety would uh, make it different uh, but if you want it to be uh, like the ones in Sea of Thieves obviously all barrels will probably be stood up but uh, pretty hard to do that uh, I mean, it's not really hard to do that, but uh, I think a bit of variety, uh, like here, looks okay. Uh, I don't know. It depends what you want to do, really. Uh, then, as we move over here, um, this pillar probably wasn't here before, no. Uh, this, uh, you want the... Basically, whenever I say pillar, it's basically the same as that one over there that I showed you. Basically, just dark oak plank, surrounded with trapdoors, and then uh, sp strip jungle uh, log on top. Then you want a lamp next to that as well. And then pretty much in line with the lamp, you want a barrel here, barrel here, and then a trapdoor like that, oak trapdoor, with a smoker, an upside down trapdoor here next to the smoker, and then another trapdoor there with a lamp above the trapdoor and then a barrel above the, uh, the upside down trapdoor here. And then you want a tripwire hook on the barrel and that'll basically be the keg and the uh well the, the pan really but smokers are basically gonna get i think basically just next to this here uh under the actually it's exactly a line with the uh grate or whatever you want to call that uh is the map and i haven't done it but we can do is uh actually i'm gonna make this look a bit better too uh, but yeah you can make the map table look better i think by uh doing that or something um but with these uh item frames uh, you can actually put maps in them to form a big map uh if you don't know how to do that i'll probably make another video on how to do that or something it's, it's really easy you basically just have an empty map and then go to the border of the uh map there and then go out of this map make another map and then it'll basically just be connected if you do want a video on how to do that i'll do that but um Hopefully it's a bit straightforward, but uh, also you want to have the boat in it as well because obviously then uh, it'll be like the one in Sea of Thieves. You you want the boat in the center map um, if you want to do that. Uh, I mean it's not like it's going to move, but um, yeah. So for example, this boat is uh, if I were to put this on the map, it would probably be that one, and then I'd turn it like that, and the boat's in the middle. But I don't think that entirely matters, actually, uh, because in the game you can even change it. But either way, uh, I won't get too much into the map in case that is going to be another video. So that's that. Um, here, uh, you could definitely change this if you want. I just thought, you know, why not? But with the cannonball crate, uh, ca cannonball barrels, uh, basically there's three barrels here. Uh, and then I've put an item frame with the prismarine crystals in because it's like the three white dots that represent the cannonballs on the barrels. But like I said, you don't have to do that. It doesn't exactly look like it, but I just thought it would be a cool thing to include if anyone watching this wants to do that. Uh, also, pillar here, you know, like before, pillar, lantern on the right. Uh, on the ship, I don't think it is on the right, but... Uh, this side is one, two, three, four, five, six barrels, and also I've done the door here in like to represent a plank or something, whatever it is on the actual barrel in the game. 
but uh, yeah, that is the pretty sure that's the entire of this floor. Yeah, that's the entirety of this floor here. And uh, we shall now proceed downstairs. Now, as we proceed downstairs uh, to the lower level, the lowest level. Um, yeah, uh, it, like I said, translating it into Minecraft isn't really the easiest thing to do. So some of it might look a bit odd, but um, so there's a barrel next to the stairs as you come down. Um, because I think in the tutorial I have a load of barrels stacked up here or something. So if you just break all of them, if you've added them, uh, you'll get the spruce planks here. And then basically all you want to do is keep this barrel here. With a lantern just um, there, really. Uh, Maneuverability around the ship shouldn't be too bad, uh, even with the lanterns. Just kind of dangling everywhere but uh yeah so there's also a barrel here two blocks in from the stairs uh just one uh, uh basically just four blocks there's one two three and then four here away from this barrel i, I don't know how to explain that any better but basically uh the, it goes here and then uh the brig here it's three by four here two blocks uh in the middle there um, if you want to add a door to it, I'm not. I, I did try to do that, but uh, it does look a bit odd. Yeah, it, it does look a bit weird, and it, this does actually work as a brig, so you can't actually get in and out of here and say it's some sort of ender pearl or something. But I mean, if they had an ender pearl, they would just throw it up, wouldn't they? But yeah, basically, uh, that's the that's the brig. Um, also, because there's a lantern in there as well on the left block, so it's basically just a uh, this hopefully uh if you if i didn't explain it well enough you can just pause the video and have a look at this and uh do that i guess uh the barrels here two barrels here uh are on the side as the barrel before uh so that's one and two barrels there and then over here so if you look at these barrels and then look to your right these barrels here two there uh, and then also over here, there's one here, which would be, look at those barrels there, look to your left and look down, barrel there. Um, and then here, this is also something I didn't have before. So um, basically in line with the brig here, uh, centered, uh, place a stair, uh, basically look at that barrel, look right, stair, there. Uh, and then uh, you want two, well, four, Spruce fences, uh, two there, two there, and then a lamp above the stair. And then uh, if I remove these barrels, hopefully this will make it a bit easier, and less confusing to look at. Uh, basically, you want um, two, uh, you want four spruce planks here, like that. And then you basically want three barrels there, and then three barrels here, or whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter which way you put them, as long as there's three barrels there, I think. Uh, according to the image that I looked at, I think, anyway. Like I said, it's not entirely accurate. It's just uh, as close as I could get. Uh, this barrel is in line with the back uh, two planks here. So just there. And then... Uh, yeah, hopefully. It's, it's also just three blocks away from these two barrels there. These three barrels here are... That's one block next to this barrel there. One, two, three. And then that's also weirdly in line with that, which you don't, you could just change that up and have this one go there or something, even if you want it symmetrical, sure. Um, and then on the back of these two, uh, four planks, you want a uh, a spruce fence and then a barrel with a lantern here. Then from the lantern, you want one block and then two spruce fences. And then you want uh, on the same, on the opposite side, you want the same thing. Spruce fence, spruce fence, spruce fence, spruce fence. And then over here. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Barrels. One, two, three. You want the spruce fence. And you want to basically stand here. So you're looking at the spruce fence. 
and then you turn around, one block, barrel, and then two barrels. Yeah, it, it, it's not, I, I don't really need to say any more about that, do I? <laughs> and then over here, it's basically just the same thing, uh, symmetry. Except you probably want to change the uh, direction of barrels or something, or even have the barrel there instead of there, whatever you want to do. And that is the entire interior for the galleon. I don't think I need to... No, you don't need to have the dark oak plank in there, actually, if I mentioned it before. I, th I thought I did with the other ones, but it doesn't seem to entirely matter. I mean, it is covered up anyway, so throw whatever you want in there. Put your diamonds in there, put a secret barrel in there that you can use as a hidden stash. I don't know what you want to do. Uh, you are going to go back to the pet crate. So that is the end of the video. I'm going to put my banana back in the pet crate. Uh, I mean, banana my parrot. He's going to go back in the pet crate, not the food crate, because he's not a banana, he's a parrot. And that is the end of the video. I am now going to lock myself in the brig for this outro. And uh, I will see you, hopefully, in another video of mine. If you do want to check out the other videos I've made, uh, you can click on my channel and uh, have a little look. Uh, I've started a new uh, Minecraft survival series which may or may not have some sort of other thing going on other than me doing survival i don't know uh, basically i've got a kind of little tiny little storyline going on uh, not related to the other survivals i've done but it is a follow-on from that but yeah if you do want to check out my other stuff uh, it should be on my channel uh, i've got different playlists for the different uh, things i've done uh, also speaking of sea of thieves since we're on a galleon. Uh, I do also play Sea of Thieves on my channel, so if you did want to check that out. Uh, I mean, I haven't done a Sea of Thieves video for a while, so it'll probably be before I actually started speaking on my channel, because uh, before I used in uh, just some AI generated words or something, whatever it was. Text to speech, that's it. Yeah, I used uh, text, to, text to speech before. Uh, I don't now, but it will probably be text-to-speech videos but if you don't mind that then you can check out those videos i probably will make another cfds video soon i think maybe one on one of the adventures that are coming out i don't know well i'll have to see but yeah that's that goodbye <laughs>